Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 8, Language. We're going to be talking about some figurative language that authors use in a story to, again, help us create that picture in our mind of what's happening. So we're going to talk about proverbs. Proverbs are short sayings that have been passed along from generation to generation. And what that means is your parents tell you a proverb, then you tell your children a proverb, which is a saying, and so on. And so it gets passed down orally. These sayings usually express general truths based on experiences and observations of everyday life. Have you ever heard anyone say, one rotten apple spoils the whole barrel? Say it with me. One rotten apple spoils the whole barrel. What do you think this phrase could mean? This phrase means that an apple or another piece of fruit that has gone bad will eventually make all of the surrounding fruit spoil if it stays in the same container. What could a rotten apple symbolize or stand for? The saying means that one badly behaving person or one bad thing can spoil anything that is close to it. It's a metaphor. Everybody say metaphor. A metaphor is a word or phrase that stands for something else. It is a way to say something figuratively or symbolically. So we don't actually mean that there's a rotten apple in the bunch. If we're talking about people, it's a figurative way to speak. So let's talk about literal versus figurative. It's raining cats and dogs. The literal meaning, like if we took it exactly the way we said it, means that there will be cats and dogs falling from the sky. Well, we know that can't happen. So it's raining cats and dogs is a figurative, it's figurative language. It means it's raining really, really hard. One rotten apple spoils the whole barrel has a literal meaning and a figurative meaning. So let's read this passage. You knew it must come to this, Toad, the badger explained. You've disregarded all the warnings we've given you. You've gone on squandering the money your father left you, and you're constantly getting into trouble with the police. You're getting us animals a bad name in the area. Now, will you come with me into the library, and there, will, and there we will have a serious heart-to-heart. -heart. So, <clears throat> instead of saying, you're getting us animals a bad name, Badger could have said to Toad, one rotten apple spoils the whole barrel. Who, figuratively or symbolically, is the rotten apple? If you said, Toad, you're correct. Who figuratively is the barrel or the other apples? It's all the other animals, isn't it? Who says in his own words that Toad figuratively is the rotten apple? Badger does, doesn't he? Toad's actions are affecting how others connected to him are perceived, how other people see them. Because Toad is acting irresponsibly, others along the riverbank and in the wild wood are beginning to think that Toad's friends are also irresponsible. Think about school, boys and girls. If you hang around someone who's not making good choices at recess, what happens? Sometimes you're lumped in with them even if you weren't making bad choices. So here's your assignment. Draw a situation that is an example where one rotten apple has spoiled the whole barrel. Add labels or sentences to describe your illustration. And the paper says exactly that. Draw a situation that is an example where one rotten apple has spoiled the whole barrel. Add labels or sentences to describe your illustration. 
So take a few moments to think about some different ideas. I already gave you one, maybe on the recess yard at, at uh, school. Maybe there's an example at home with your brothers and sisters. Sometimes all the kids at my house get punished, even if they didn't do anything wrong because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. So take your time, boys and girls. You're drawing a picture and you can add labels or sentences to, to describe your illustration.